Hello Sarvayatris. In this video, we will explore the concepts of longitudinal and cross-sectioning and the benefits they offer in surveying. Surveying is a crucial aspect of civil engineering and construction projects, providing accurate measurements and data for planning, design and implementation. Two important techniques used in surveying are longitudinal and cross-sectioning. These methods allow surveyors to gather detailed information about the terrain, enabling engineers to make informed decisions during the construction process. Let us check out the first technique that is longitudinal sectioning. Longitudinal sectioning also known as profile leveling or profiling is the process of establishing the elevation of sites on the ground at about regular intervals along a continuous line. Profile leveling is one of the surveyors most typical application of running levels and vertical distance measuring. The data are represented as a profile which is a representation of a vertical cross section. The primary objective of longitudinal sectioning is to determine the slope, grade and vertical alignment of the surveyed feature. The process of creating a longitudinal section typically involves the following steps. The first step is to establish a baseline. A straight line is marked along the path of the feature being surveyed. This line serves as a reference for all subsequent measurements. The next step is taking the elevation measurements. At regular intervals along the baseline, surveyors measure the elevation of the ground surface using an instrument like a leveling instrument or a total station. These measurements are recorded to create a profile of the land. And the last step is to plot this profile. The collected elevation data is plotted on a graph paper or entered into a specialized software to create a longitudinal section. The resulting graph shows the variations in ground level along the surveyed line. Next, we move on to the cross-sectioning. Cross-sectioning involves the creation of horizontal cross-sectional views of the land perpendicular to the alignment being surveyed. This technique provides valuable information about the terrain shape, dimension and features at specific locations. Cross-sections are particularly useful for designing and analyzing infrastructure elements like the road, canal or embankments. The process of creating a cross-section typically involves the following steps. Let us discuss them one by one. Initially, we have to establish a cross-section line. Surveyors mark perpendicular lines to the alignment being surveyed at regular intervals. These lines are known as cross-section lines or station lines. The next step is to take the measurements. Along each cross-section line, the surveyors measure the ground level at predetermined intervals using leveling instruments or total stations. Additional measurements may be taken for features such as buildings, utilities or natural elements. The final step is plotting the cross section. The measured data is then plotted on graph paper or entered into specialized software to create a cross section. The resulting diagram provides a detailed view of the land's features and elevations along the surveyed line. The benefits of longitudinal and cross-sectioning in surveying are manifold. It gives accurate data. These techniques allow surveyors to gather precise elevation and terrain data. It also has an efficient design. The longitudinal and cross-sectional surveys facilitate the design of infrastructure elements, enabling engineers to optimize grades, alignment and earthwork quantities. It also has enhanced visualization. The graphical representation of longitudinal and cross-sectional data helps stakeholders visualize the project's topography and understand its impact on the construction process. It also helps in conflict identification. By identifying potential conflicts such as steep slopes or underground utilities 
early in the surveying process. It helped avoid costly design revisions during the construction phase. The longitudinal and cross-sectional techniques play a vital role in surveying, providing valuable data for civil engineering projects. The detailed profiles and cross-section derived from these surveys aid in optimizing alignments, grades and earthwork quantities while minimizing conflicts and ensuring efficient project execution. Now let us take a quick recap. We discussed on the techniques used in surveying and benefits. I hope you got an idea on the different techniques of surveying. With this, we come to the end of the video. If you are watching the video for the first time, please like and subscribe. We will be adding more videos weekly. Click on the bell icon so that you won't miss any upcoming videos. And thank you for watching the video. Thank you.